everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thimbalina Random Girl here. Um, I've got a little fall uh, floral DIY that I'm going to do for y'all today. Um, for purposes of time, I have already taken and this is all from Dollar Tree, by the way. Um, I've already taken and clipped everything uh, off the stem. Um, if you do not have any wire cutters, you can get them you can get a pair from the Dollar Tree. I just have, you know, I've got a pair of needle nose that has a wire cutter built into into them. Um, anyway, so I bought this base jar here from the Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and I had picked up two bags because I wasn't sure how much it would take. And I'm still not sure if I'll use more. But anyway, I picked up um, the sand uh, in the sable color. And... I just pour that into the bottom of the glass and then I just take my flowers and I just start I am going to need to pour more because that's a little further down so I'll go ahead and use the second bag the stems once you cut them off because like I cut them all the way down um, but once you cut them off they get really short so you got to make sure you have some sand high enough that you can make that's weird it smells like fingernail polish or something some kind of plastic it has a very odd smell to it anyway so you just start with your flowers and stick them in I haven't done one of these in a while I did one last year. If you want to see last year's fall um, floral arrangement, you can go to my Instagram. And my Instagram info is listed in the bottom of in the description box down below. Kind of excited to see how this one turned out. I loved the flowers that they had this time. flowers in. I like to take and push my the leaves up to the top because it makes it less crowded down in the jar. And then sometimes if it gets too much I just pull the leaves off. Wish they weren't all crushed and crinkled looking. So is everybody ready for Halloween? I mean, all this Halloween stuff is out, and it just seems so early to me. Like, we're still sweating bullets here in Alabama, so... Of course, it's always like that. You never really know what kind of Halloween costume you're going to do, because you don't know if it's going to be hot or if it's going to be cold. Alright, I'm going to start adding some... Other colors in here, little different pops. I like this little cat's tail. Or is that wheat? That might not be cat's that's not cat's tail, that's like a little little wheat looking stuff. I love how Dollar Tree provides all this like they have gotten where their flowers and stuff are just gorgeous. Definitely, I mean, yes, Hobby Lobbies are beautiful, but for the price, it just makes it a little difficult. Definitely much rather go in and get these from the Dollar Tree. some green. A little touch of green there. And I mean these don't take long to do at all. 
few more leaves around here. I mean, look, they got like the little berries on them and everything. That's really neat. of these need longer stems. I guess that is the only downfall. She could use longer stems. Alright. Last thing I'm going to do, I've got these little scarecrows on these little picks. And hopefully these will be long enough that I can poke these down. Do I want the orange or do I want all the green? I don't know. The orange one kind of looks like it needs a little green to it, doesn't it? It's all kind of like the same colors. And yet, I like the orange one better. I think I like his hat. It's just fuller. And he stands up a little bit more. So. Alright, y'all. There you have it. So. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoy seeing DIYs and you'd like to see more of them, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until next time, be your own kind of beautiful. Bye.